Greene County residents gathered on a hillside to watch the spectacle. Many of these folks drove by the Hatchfield Ferry Power Plant for years. Some have relatives who worked in the plant. Shortly after 11 o'clock this morning, the blast. And the collapse of the towers, less than 10 seconds. What's your impression of those towers coming down? Uh, very nice. It was worth taking a day off for. Why did you have interest in the event? Uh, my dad worked down there. Uh, he was a union electrician in there for a good many years. And I remember whenever my daughter was little, she used to call him the cloud maker. So, you know, it's, it's kind of sad to see him gone, but it is what it is. Was it uh, your first time seeing something that big imploded? This close, yeah. I grew up around here. I've seen them every day, and it's it just wanted to watch something that big come down. It was just incredible. It was just, it was awesome. For 40 years, the Hatchfield Ferry Power Plant produced electricity along the Monongahela River. Imploding the two coolers was the second phase of the plant's demolition. We still have the boiler house behind us, and that will come down probably later this fall. And it, it by this time next year, we'll have. We'll have a grassy area. There's some roads here. And so far to date, there's no announcement as to how this land will be used once it's prepared next year. In Greene County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.